Well, how I dove into it is pregnancy complications. Holistically, I've seen a lot of articles that characterize it as high blood pressure and damage to either like the liver or the kidneys. And from what I know and what I've read, it typically happens around the 20th week mark. Now, on top of that, I also, me personally, I tie it with edema, especially like in the hands and in the face. You'll notice a lot of women that have that. They suffer with that immensely. And we're not even going to talk about the weight gain. Like it be so, it happens so fast. Now, most people that already went into pregnancy with hypertension, diabetes, things of that nature, they're more prone to it from what I've read. Oh, and kidney diseases. But a lot of management resources requires the work or the, um, how can I put it, the diligence more towards the hypertensive area of what's going on. Not only to protect the child, but to protect the mother as well. So before I say anything, make sure that you're involved in prenatal care, you're seeing your specialists, and you're seeing your doctors. Now on the holistic side, we like to focus on nutrition. When I tell you plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins, we know not everybody's going to sit there and ditch me completely, and that's fine, that's okay, but stick to the leaner, cleaner meats. If you're blessed enough to live in a part of Louisiana or an area like I live in where we literally can watch them raise the, all the meats that they sell locally in the farmer's markets and stuff like that, go for that. Stay away from all the commercialized and hyper-packaged. Stick local. Stick for the stuff that's as home uh, raised and grass-fed as possible. And before I go into herbs, once again, consult with your healthcare provider. These are the people that are going to be in actual communication and conversation with you along the pregnancy. But some herbal teas like raspberry leaf tea, these things are often used to support the pregnancy. But all in all, once again, I will say a very, very good balance that's centered and making sure that your cardiovascular, well, your whole body, making sure that your whole body is revitalized is the most important. And I wouldn't be Coach Brian if I didn't leave you with a good scripture. We're going to be in Isaiah 41 verse 10. It reads, so do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So that means no matter what you're going through, no matter the circumstances, rely on God. Faith without works is dead. Health without proper nutrition, exercise, X, Y, and Z, it's not going to be healthy. Reasons why you trust in God. Reasons why you trust in the science that has shown us that proper nutrition and proper lifestyle yields optimal levels of vitality. Stand strong and believe in God. He got you. But I hope you have a good one. God bless.